Magasu is now here as an urgent quest and is ready to cause havoc on the planet Harukatan and it's up to us to send his tail packing. Hello Arxops, this video will serve as a guide on how to defeat Magasu. Once loaded in, you want to aim for his knees. Communicate on which knees to target first. After destroying the knee, he will then be stunned and then collapse. Work on destroying his other knee and then he'll end up falling again. Be mindful of the urgent trials that will appear on screen. Some will tell you to not get hit a certain amount of times, and at other times it will tell you to take cover. If you're good with your iframes, this will not phase you. Now, once you reach 100 points threshold, you'll be able to high jump, have movement speed, and atomizer reach increase, all thanks to Tsukana Hime's protection. Once Magasu is stunned, his arms that are crossed will be in the way around his stomach area. Deal enough damage and they will drop. Magasu has many breakable parts. His stomach, which most people will go to first, his shoulders, and then his head. Deal enough damage to those areas and they will all be exposed. Magasu's broken skin will serve as a small platform for you. Again, deal enough damage to his red faces, exposed skin, and it will become deformed. Once it's like that, move on to the next area of the body. This specific emergency trial will appear stating that you should use the Calamity arrows to put Magatsu to a halt. There should be 5 or 6 Calamity arrows that you can use, shooting one of the 4 highlighted areas, either the stomach, shoulders, or the head within the time limit and successful hits. So aim well and victory will be assured. Notice there are 3 doors on your map. If he gets too close, he destroys the door. Luckily, there will be a quick emergency trial and photon cannons will be deployed above. Use the cannons to destroy the mobile floating heads coming from Magasu to keep the door from taking heavy damage. The squad should have a good intel and power to take him down before he gets to the first door. Once Magasu ascends in the air, beams will shoot out everywhere. Hopefully you will have obtained the remaining boosts from Tsukanahime. At the 500 threshold mark, you get an HP boost. At the max 1000, you get a faster PP recovery. Also with Magasu quest, you can do the quest up to 4 times. If you have the firepower and your squad is overpowered in the mud, then you can complete the quest 4 times easy. The second phase of fighting Magasu is strictly AIS based. The first one will spawn in, use your guns and guns photon arcs. The same strat works except you're using AIS's now. You will have a tight time window and 2 more Magasus to defeat. Once the first one is down, the second one will appear. This Magasu will have high resistance to guns, so use your melee instead. Now finally, the last one, the all golden Magasu will appear. To get to the body that are covered by the red orbs, destroy all body parts. Time is ticking and it is solely up to you as the fellow Arxops. Use everything in your arsenal to defeat the golden Magasu. Use your blight rounds. Communicate on which one is using nearest first. Target the specific areas and then aim for the body. And that is pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you find this guy helpful and taking down Magasu will be a little bit more easier for you guys. If you find it helpful, share it with your friends. Of course, leave it a like, comment below if I missed anything. And I'll see you in the next video.